uh, thank you for joining me for the home body weight workout. Uh, what I'm going to, what I'm doing today is I'm going to do a back and shoulder workout uh, using this uh, day bed, um, and it's a little bit cushioned. Uh, so when you're using, uh, when you're traveling especially, and maybe you only have your choice of like cushioned furniture, that's what you have to use. So um, just one thing to be wary of is that um, you do have to keep your balance more. It's more important that you, you know. Uh, think about your balance uh, because you know cushion furniture doesn't offer you a firm surface to put your hands, which can be a little uh, create a little bit of a challenge for you <laughs> if you're not uh, if you're not used to it. Okay, so just a, just a word to the wise, a word of warning. All right. Anyway, um, so uh, you know this is uh, this is again a shoulder workout. Uh, you can do um, you can do the hand positions again, the three hand positions close. You can do shoulder width or you can do wider than shoulder width. Today I'm doing wider than shoulder width, so I'm gonna. Um, uh, stick my hands here on this uh, on this day bed, okay, and a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay. Take my feet out as far as possible to uh, use um, you know use my weight against me as much as possible. All right, so that's it, and then look up at the ceiling. Ah, okay. Ooh. And those get uh, those get challenging fairly quickly with the uh, behind the back uh, shoulder uh, uh, shoulder presses. Uh, they do get uh, quick. They do get hard uh, quite quickly. So uh, just be mindful of that um, when you're doing them. Uh, you can't do as many as push-ups, or at least most people can. Most most people can't, I should say. All right. So just again, stick your feet out as far as possible. <sighs> And the thing about the uh, behind the back presses like this is they really give you a nice little uh, tricep workout as well. You can get a nice little, um, you know, re uh, really defined triceps from doing this as well. In addition to working your back and your shoulders. So uh, depending on what angle you use and what height you use uh, to do the exercises uh, will, you know, determine how much of your shoulders are actually being worked. But uh, most of most. Uh, Presses, they do work the shoulders pretty well, I, I find. Anyway, all right. Ah, yeah, they, can, they get challenging pretty quickly. At first, they're really easy, and then they get really challenging. Okay, so anyway, so. Uh, since these ones I obviously can't do as many as I can do push-ups at the same angle, then I'm going to flex now and just try to get, uh, you know, uh, pump my muscles up a little bit, add a little more definition to them, to my muscles. Usually flex for about 30 seconds just to, just to stir up the muscles a little bit more, that's all. All right, so let's get back to the exercise. Just don't rest too much between the sets when you're doing home workouts. And always be in control of the motion. Um, when, if, if you find that with a certain exercise, like these ones, that you can't do as many as you can, say push-ups or something else, pull-ups, whatever, uh, then just try to exaggerate the, the motion. You know, as, as you're going up in the range, go up as quickly as possible. As you're going down, uh, just try to slow down and control the motion of the exercise. As well as, uh, you know, just, it just really um, accentuates the negative resistance, you know, ma maximizes it. And try to lift straight up. Instead of out as you're doing these, don't try to push your body this way. Try to push your body straight up. Even though you won't be able to do it, you're resisting the natural inertia, the natural motion of the exercise. Okay? All right. Let's go one time. Oh. Ah. 
Oh yeah, 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 that gets hard quickly. That definitely gets hard quickly. Which is good. I mean, when something gets hard, it really means it's working your that particular muscle group out, uh, you know, particularly well. That particular muscle group particularly well. <sighs> All right, probably the first time I've used particular and particularly in the same sentence. <laughs> I don't know. I find that funny for some reason. Okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, one more here, and then uh, probably try to do some sort of superset, uh, just just to add a little bit of a variation to this. Exercise. Okay, and hold. Just slow down and hold. It's, it's more difficult on the way down. Okay, I'm not trying to maximize this workout. So, what I'm going to do is try to do uh, a few of these with the close hand grip. Okay, so just put my hands together. I'm just changing the the hand position just to add a little variation to this workout. It's not going to be easy, I don't think. We shall see. And it's not because my my muscles are pretty tired already, so it kind of like throws off my balance completely. But I'm gonna try try another one or another another couple to see, you know, just to never never give up here. All right, and it's on a cushioned surface. Jeez. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so I got like one in there anyway, so that's something, that's something. And just try to, you know, even if you can only do one on an exercise after doing, you know, a previous exercise, which is fairly challenging, and just exaggerate, uh, you know, the motion on the way down, make it as uh, slow as possible, or stop, you know, just be in control. <laughs> so, oh, so try that. <laughs> Slow down and hold, and that's tough. All right. Anyway, so that that is a very decent. Uh, that was just a, a very quick. The shoulder workouts I usually find, uh, you know.